everybody. Uh, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Dwayne Yazi. Uh, I'm one of the uh, new addition to the uh, the uh, the Wellness Center within the Gila River Indian Community. Uh, happy to be here. I come to you from uh, the community of uh, Akchin, Akchin Indian Community. I was there for six and a half years. And uh, where I'm originally from is uh, from uh, the Nine Nation. Uh, just want to introduce myself that way and. Uh, and one thing I want to share is uh, is uh, your fitness is uh, it's all mental. Uh, your body won't go where your where your where your mind won't push it. So just remember that you know, have that good mindset. Be optimistic. Uh, think good. Uh, have a good attitude. Uh, everything starts from the mind. Uh, movement and everything like that. So be good to yourself. Encourage yourself. Cheer yourself on. You know, be that one number one and that number one support for yourself and continue to move forward in your fitness journey. So that's all I want to say and then we'll go ahead and get to the, uh, the workouts. So have a good day, enjoy the workouts. All right, other segment is we're gonna work the core, okay? We're gonna work the core. Then you always wanna warm up before starting the exercise, maybe five, 10 minutes, warm up your uh, your body. Of course, there's, uh, there's the elbow plank. So on this one, what you want to do is you want to have your elbows right underneath your shoulder. You want to have your shoulders right underneath your elbows. I mean, over your elbows, I'm sorry. So elbows right underneath your shoulder and your elbow, but maybe shoulder width. That's uh, that's my preference and it works works for me. It's easier on my shoulders. And so as you're doing this, what you want to do is uh, you don't want to have your back arch. You want to draw your abs in. Okay, draw your abs in. Then you got your glutes. You want to clench your glutes together, dry your abs in, and try to keep your back straight as possible and just focus on that core. So, elbow planks. Put your glutes together, dry your abs in. There's really no movement. All you're doing is just stabilizing. Remember to breathe, okay? Keep that head straight. If possible. Okay? You want to hold it for about maybe five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, whatever your preference is, okay? And then we can just modify it as well. You can go down to your knees, modify, draw the abs in, and just hold it there. That's modified. Another one you can do, if it's a little bit harder on your elbows, it's kind of like that for me. So it was uh, straight, what I call a straight arm plank. You just hold it here, okay, shoulders, right over your hands, okay? You don't want to arch your back, clench your glutes together, okay? Abs are drawn in. Body straight as possible as a board, like a board. From your head, to your shoulders, to your hip, to your knees, your ankles, straight line as possible. Okay? That's all you're doing, no movement. If you want a challenge, you can go here. Okay, right here. Go wider, it's a little bit easier. And then here. Okay? Go widen on your foot. Just go on here. Keeping that core. Stabilize. Another, uh, so a lot, a lot of this is a lot, a lot of more of the, the stabilizing exercise. There's really no movement except for that one I was tapping my shoulders. Another one that uh, you can do for core, it's uh, some people do it. Uh, it's really a preference. And of course, it's the uh, the crunch. You want to imagine uh, you got an apple or a ball, like a tennis ball, in your underneath your chin. Uh, you want to use your your core muscles to come up and point your nose and your chin up to the ceiling here. So as you go up, exhale, breathe out, going up, and then breathe in, inhale, going coming down. So as you exhale, your stomach should get tighter. Okay, this one, your foot. However you prefer, it can be flat, it can be your heels to the ground. You want to have your lower back flat to the floor. Try not to have an arch and do crunches. You want to have your back flat to the floor, just like this. Exhale, inhale, okay? Or you can go here, like you're trying to touch the ceiling. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. A little bit more resistance. You have weights, you can go here. Okay, remember keeping that lower back flat to the floor. 
crutches. Okay. Uh, there's another one that you can do. And then we a movement. Knees are bent. We call it a deceited twist. Okay. Knees about shoulder width, feet about shoulder width. You don't want to have your back arched, okay? It's going to be a little more, more stress on that lower back. So what you want to do is you want to round out your back like you're hunched over. Engage that core muscle and then lean back as far as what's comfortable for you to where you feel this, these muscles right here, your obliques, your front abs muscle uh, is engaged. Remember keeping that back rounded. You don't want to be here. So you want to be here, abs are engaged, and you do a twist. Okay. Whatever's comfortable. Try to keep your head up. See, I feel this in my obliques already right here on the sides. Feel my front core, just keeping that back rounded. The seated twist is one thing you can do as well for the core, for core exercise. Another thing you can do, you go back to that straight arm plank. You go here, it's more of a progression. So I'm just holding and stabilizing. What you can do is one knee to the elbow, other knee to the other elbow. So right knee to the right elbow, Left knee to left elbow. You can do it that way, keep that core engaged, or you can go across. Okay, go across too. Try not to really turn your hip. Try to keep your hip as stable as possible. Keep that core engaged. You will feel it in your shoulders as well just to keep that stabilization. Uh, another thing you can do, of course, there's the, uh, there's the side planks here. Body straight as possible. Shoulders under, over your elbow, and just hold it here. Progression, you can go here. You're feeling your obliques. But you gotta have pushing for the elbow. And then you just go to the other side, and do the same thing, okay? Or you can just hold it. Some can do it this way. Just more of a progression, and just, almost like a yoga, pretty much yoga type pose. Just stabilizing the shoulder, okay? Can you do it to the right side as well? Another thing you can do is a floor bridge. Floor bridge, feet shoulder width, heels dug into the floor, and then you just here, stabilizing, or you can bring a movement into it, okay? Just bring those hips up towards the ceiling. Exhale as you go up. Exhale. Inhale. Good for the lower back. Another thing you can do is what they call the Superman. Just to stabilize, exercise, and just hold it in here just like this. That's one thing you can do as well. Okay. Another thing you can do is, uh, <laughs> excuse me. Another one you can do is uh, here. Okay. Uh, Good, good stabilized exercise. They call it the ankle. Some people call it the angry cat. So you want to round out your back, push your lower back up towards the ceiling, engage that core muscle, okay? And just hold it there. Stabilize and hold it there. Hold it there. Okay? So these are some of the core exercises you can do. You know, grab and go type exercise. So if you have fun with it, with it be creative. And remember always to warm up before your workout. All right, good job.